we're lucky enough to live on this farm which is between Warwick and Cunningham's Gap. It's in the western foothills of the Great Dividing Range and we've got the beautiful Darling Downs black basalt soil and the lovely timbered hills of the range as well. It's about 640 acres. It used to be a dairy farm like many of the farms around here. So what we wanted to do was regenerate it and really showcase how you can incorporate a balance between production and economy and the environment. It's a multi-species and multi-enterprise, multi-generational mixed farm. We produce lots of different types of food and we have quite a lot of different income streams. So we produce beef and lamb and pork and poultry and we, we host visitors for camping and farm tours and bus tours. We graze our animals using holistic planned grazing. So we are moving each of the different species around the pastures, putting them on the spots of the farm where we think they'll get the best grazing or they'll have the best impact for the changes that we're trying to bring on the landscape. It's good for the grass because it likes to be eaten down and then left to grow. It's good for the animals because they get fresh pasture to eat regularly. It's good for the soil because it gets a, a lot of manure and urine and grass trampled down onto it in a short space of time which it can make use of and it's good for the soil microbes and biology because it has all that material laid on the surface of the soils. Some of our land caring activities that we've been putting into practice in the short time we've been here, some natural sequence farming works to try and hold and slow water in the landscape, uh, fencing off the waterways and some multi-species pasture cropping that we put into place each winter to try and keep some green plants growing all through the year. We've seen some big changes in vegetation along the gullies and the creek, which I guess has a flow-on effect in terms of habitat and diversity in those areas. But the long-term vision is to bring vegetation belts back into that cleared third of the farm so that instead of there being patches of trees amongst the pasture, there's patches of pasture amongst the trees. And when we have that interconnected network of vegetation all over the farm, that's when I think we'll really see some big gains in terms of diversity and habitat. And what I've noticed walking through is the floristics have changed. So your native grasses are coming back and when your native grasses start coming back and you've got areas of shorter grass and long regenerated areas, the birds are coming back. And that's really important having birds back, small birds in the shrubbery and the pasture areas for insect management. With the business model that we have with our community supported agriculture and the way that we educate and show people how the farm works, I can see the financial difference. If you take out the fact we're investing everything that we have back into the farm in terms of infrastructure and changes, we don't feel like that we've got a lot of spare, but that's because we're building business. We really love being outside and we love nature. A farm like this is the best way we've found that, we're, that we can live that life and eat that food. Be a farm that produces really good food in a way that heals the land and is connected to the land.